Is the Earth more massive than Venus, Mars, Mercury, the Moon, and the entire asteroid belt combined? Oh, and for good measure, we're going to throw in Pluto too, since you were awesome enough to click on this video. And yes, it is. And here's how that's possible. The Earth may not be the biggest planet. In fact, there are four planets larger, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. But it is, in fact, the densest planet in our solar system. Which simply means that there are more atoms in an average cup of Earth material than any other planet. Density is usually measured in grams per cubic centimeter. And looking at this graph, you'll see that the Earth has the highest density, with Mercury and Venus not far behind. Saturn comes in dead last with a density so low that if there were a bathtub big enough, it would float in it because room temperature water is denser. But it's because of density, or how tightly atoms are packed within an object, that you get some bizarre situations across the universe, like giant planets orbiting tiny Earth-sized stars. In fact, our own sun will become a white dwarf about the size of our planet once it leaves its red giant phase and sheds about half of its mass into the space. When this happens, it will go from having a density less than Earth to roughly 1 million grams per cubic centimeter. Now, to prove the Earth is more massive, I could show you all the estimated masses of these worlds, but that doesn't help us visualize anything. So let's use a simpler unit of measurement, our moon. Mercury, for instance, has four moons worth of matter making it up. So even though they look very similar and are a similar size, because Mercury is far denser, it would take four moons to build it. Next, we have Venus, Earth's so-called twin, and the most massive planet in this Frankenstein thought experiment after the Earth, of course. Venus would take 66 moons worth of matter to build. And then there's our own moon, which takes exactly one moon worth of matter to build. No surprise there. But after that, we come to Mars, which would take eight whole moons to build even though Martian density is far lower than the other terrestrial planets. For that, the pickings get real scarce. The entire asteroid belt, from the dwarf planet Ceres all the way down to grains of sand, is roughly 5% of our moon's mass, meaning that our moon alone has some 20 times the matter of the entire asteroid belt. In fact, it's so empty that so far eight spacecraft have crossed it without any incident. How many can you name without Googling? Let me know in the comments, and no cheating. Then finally we come to Pluto, which always seems to shock people with how small it is. After all, it has an atmosphere and five moons of its own, so you wouldn't think our moon is five and a half times more massive than Pluto. So, let's do the math and add it all up. As you can see, we come to a little less than 80 moons worth of material. And how massive is the Earth itself? 81. Believe it or not, the Earth has 81 moons worth of material. I promise to keep this brief, so throw me a like if you enjoyed this video. Don't run with scissors, and thanks for watching.